So let's dig into the how in plain language. What did the attacker do to pull off this heist? Well, I mentioned those bridges before. They're you know a series of contract, uh, smart contracts, and sometimes registries and other artifacts that you know provide data for those uh, on-chain contracts. And there was a specific contra- contract, an F cross-chain uh, manager and an F cross-chain data. These two smart contracts work together, and the manager had the ability to assign a role in the data contract that basically gave ultimate authority to conduct transactions. And they kind of—it's not that they missed that part. They thought that there was one sort of ID on the cross-chain manager um, piece that if you called it, you would need to know, and if you didn't know that, you probably wouldn't be able to do it. But they just—the attacker just basically brute forced it, tried you know a bunch of combinations, and on. Unfortunately, on the blockchain, unlike, you know, when your password is attempted through five times and fails, there's not really that level of logging or visibility to that on these, you know, these networks. So they just kind of brute forced it, eventually got a number that worked, and they were basically able to assign themselves the role of admin for the whole contract. 